in this opening period. McMahon gets it deep. Mayfield there under pressure from Sam Lafferty. Got a piece of the puck, and McMahon's got it up along the half wall. Drag from the point. Fluttering puck, and it goes in. Off the initial shot from Lilligren, and it got past Sorokin, and Toronto has the lead on the road here in the first. Stop big time Marner and Matthews at the doorstep. So what do they do? They got to create. You got to get the puck in deep and they've got to create some chaos. They got to get bodies and then they got to go to the net. And that's the biggest thing for them is take away Sorokin's eyes. Make sure that their puck is it. He's not seeing it cleanly. It's bouncing around and it comes. He doesn't even know where it is right there. It's an excellent job. Lafferty right on the top of the paint there. And then he also draws a defenseman with him. So it takes that space away from Ilya Sorokin. Bunting. Searching along the half wall gets it back to Riley along the blue line Now Marner with speed. Oh, what a stop by Sorokin on Gustafson I mean, I, this one goes without saying look at all this action in front of uh, Sorokin and he still reads the play come comes across and makes this save on air we do not spot Brock Nelson to begin the second. Yeah, he is not on the bench, um, likely still in concussion protocol um, in terms of just keeping an eye on the spotter. And, and it was a hard shot, by the way. Gustafson had that gaping net in front of him, thought he had a gimme, and it was still a pretty hard shot. Sorokin buries it. They score! Parisi tied this game off the work from Scott Mayfield, and just like that, this game is tied. Get rid of their penalty kill, and it's a great face-off win. We've talked about that throughout the first period, how good they are at it. And what they, what Scott Mayfield comes around, he's patient. What I like about Scott Mayfield coming in, there are a couple options he has before he rounds the net, and it, right there it looks like he's going to shoot. Instead, dishes it across to, across to Zach Parise, who has a wide-open net. Great setup. Lilligren, right point along the wall toward the net. Marner still parked out in front. Matthew fires, and Sorokin a blocker save. I asked Bo, I said, where do you like to play? He said, I played in that bumper in Vancouver. I like it, and I like, the ch I like it that when they get me the puck, it's fun. Turnover here and a shorty chance for Camp, who walks in. Camp denied by Sorokin. Parisi outlets for Fashing, who chips it ahead. Parisi pursues, trying to work around Lilligren, who bumps him along the wall and wins the puck. Lilligren lost it. Fashing walks in and fires and scores! The Islanders lead! For this team, he's moved a little bit around in the lineup, but it's Zach Parisi again. Scores the first goal, but he's hard work along the wall. And then it's just a read, and honestly, that, of course, that misfire there as well by Lilligren that he isn't able to get it out. But you can see the hard work here by Parisi. He gets knocked around, and then he redoubles his effort to come back. Fashing plays a little bit more defensively, and so it is, but the injuries are, are certainly a factor, and, and even you, he was fantastic with those 48 saves, by the way, for the Leafs to have given up 52 shots on goal, it's a season high for them. Oh, an attempt from Clutterbuck, they score! Pollock sent it in from the point. His rehab, because it was the upper, upper body injury, he comes back a few games ago and makes his presence shown right away. The way he plays, physical, his hits, his forechecking. And then what does he do here? He's able to show that he has the great knack for the net, too. And Gustafson with five seconds left. Under pressure from Sezikis, who wins the puck. Tried to tuck it home on Samsonov. And that sums up this second period for the Islanders. Orvat without his stick, back to the right point. Toss back to the corner and around for Matthews just onto the ice. Here's Austin Matthews. Marner scores! Well, they put him together, and Marner makes this a one-goal game early on in the third, and he's fired up. You can feel this one coming. They put pressure on, they entered the zone early on, and then they just had a couple shift changes while they kept possession of the puck. And then, as you mentioned, Marner moving on that line up with with uh, with Austin Matthews, and what a beautiful setup it is to Mitch Marner. Now, you've got somebody like number 16 out there. If you're the Islanders, it's also now on a seven-game point streak. 
Pretty impressive, too, just the consistency with which he's played. Picked off by Clutterbuck. He charges back for the Islanders and scores! What a snipe! Barn, UBS Arena, the crowd is on its feet. And you, the, the Toronto Maple Leafs trying to take advantage of the momentum they had just created, made an ill-advised pass, a flat pass at the blue line as they're trying to enter their offensive zone. And what a beautiful read by Kyle Clutterbuck. Already has a goal tonight. The Islanders for the Maple Leafs two after they had grabbed a one nothing lead in the first period before the last five goals belong to the Islanders. Puck didn't get out. Lee's out in front. Holmstrom jams yeah. at it. And they score. They just kept jamming at it on the doorstep. Looks like Simon Holmstrom. Samsonov has struggled with his rebounds here tonight. He tries to manage the puck and he sends it up the wall. It's pressure. It hits. Does it hit the ref? Might have hit the ref as it came off the wall. So that's bad luck for Samsonov. But he has a couple chances there to freeze the puck, get a whistle. He's trying to find it right there. He can't get it under his glove. It's an empty netter. Noah Thompson flung it nearly the entire length of the ice. Sheldon Keith had pulled Ilya Samsonov. Three at this point, and they have an offensive zone faceoff, and it's a win by the Islanders. And Noah Thompson up and over. All right, Linda. Wow, you yeah, think about it from a Columbus perspective as well. Every point matters when you want to have the best odds. Hey, here we go. You wondered if this was coming against Nola Chari. Matt Martin steps in, and these two go at it. And Martin delivers a handful of rights at Nola Chari, who had the hit on Brock Nelson back in the first. I don't think Nola Chari really is all that fond of trading blows with heavyweight Matt Martin. They brought Nola Chari in to add some physicality and some grit. Oh, and they score again! Dobson flung it from the point. Lee might have had a piece of that. And it is 7-2 Islanders here in the third. He's so good at tipping the puck, but usually in much closer. His office is down closer. He just gets in position, though. He's, he is, he's right in between the hash marks. And it's tough to see. Maybe Sezik has got a piece of it, too. Let's see here. It's a deflection right there. Just a bunch of beautiful goals and hard-hitting goals. And and a fight to cap it off. The Islanders win it 7-2 against the Maple Leafs.